All right, so in the last tutorial, we uh, we created uh, a split it and a layer sound for the keyboard, for that small keyboard even, so that we have two sounds. And uh, but they are they sound really really dry. So there is no reverb, there's no delay, there's no chorus, no effect on it. Uh, it's really dry. Sh in this tutorial I will show you how to add effects to the sound. Um, so we have two kinds of effects. This one is an insert effect and uh, the other effects are send effects. So the insert effect, uh, let's try this on the bass. Um, I'm gonna take um, a yeah, rotary sound. You know that Leslie rotary sound? You, um, use the mono to stereo. So you find the audio effects, audio FX, uh, and you can just simply click them and then choose an effect or choose no effect. So in the first slot we now added uh, this rotary effect. Let's hear how this sound, how this bass sound now sounds. Yeah, that's the bass through a Leslie. Maybe I can... Uh, Add another effect. What's very common is to use um, equalizer. So we uh, choose uh, this channel EQ. You see uh, the second slot is now filled with a channel EQ and uh, I want more bass. So I add more bass. Okay, maybe too much. For the acoustic piano we got on the top, let's say we want a little chorus in there so we go for the first slot we go to the modulation effects and uh, use this chorus effect from Apple and let's uh, some glimmer in chorus that's one preset from Apple all right so these are the insert effects um, then we have uh, a bit down we have the send effects you see uh, sends there and uh, the sense effect, you got a lot of effects that you can use for the same effect for all of your channel strips, for all of your instruments. So that makes sense for um, reverbs and delays, because all the instruments you play on a stage should be in one room and not one in a cathedral and one in the cellar. So I use um, one reverb for one patch for one song, one reverb and I use uh, one delay for every song. So that doesn't differ in the sound. It's uh, confusing for the ears of the audience. So um, in this effect, I, um, we already got a small room and large room. Um, I add another one to the number five. You see there is another, another one, another channel strip appearing. And in this channel strip, I add an insert effect. So let's look for the reverb. So I uh, choose this chroma verb. Let's see how all the factory presets are. I take a room, small wet room. For the piano, you see this auxiliary bus. And I can pull in how much reverb I want to be sent to, to this room. So if I push it down over there, you hear the room. If I put it down, back again, there is no room. Maybe I should put out this chorus. So that's very dry, no room at all. And if I push this up, you hear the room same for the bass but uh, less room so I select my auxiliary number four I put out the rotary effect so that you can hear more so there is another room in there so uh, maybe just half for the bass bass dry is uh, always good so right now I got for both instruments the same reverb wow. so that sounds very good and homogene um, for the audience. So these are the two kinds of effects you can use, the insert effect and the send effects. So you have the direct signal 
through the mixer and you have the sand effect, the sand uh, signal through the effect uh, on this extra channel strip. So let's make sense uh, to, yeah, to build up your setup for one song like that. Thank you very much for listening and watching and see you next time for the next tutorial.